Hey YouTube, I am Tiberius and you're about to watch an edited recording of a Twitch stream. You can check out my Twitch using the link in the video description. If you enjoy the content, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel. Thank you and enjoy the video. All right, this is a story, so I'm going to have to tell a story here. Uh, there was... I'm not going to give away most of the story because part of the story involves Ipsec and a Hank the Box machine that retired this weekend. But basically, uh, I think it was maybe, maybe a week ago, Ipsec messaged me on Discord and... Was, wanted to run something by me because he knows that I do the I do the web app stuff, right? Um, he he knows that I am Tiberius. I I know all the web apps. Okay, Ipsec knows that. So he wanted to share something with me, um, which was this weird um, thing. I guess because the hack the box machine that was retiring um, featured it, and it's basically a Node.js app that uses MySQL, um, which I, I think Ipsec thought that um, most Node.js apps were, are just going to use NoSQL, um, but a lot of them use MySQL. So this is the MySQL.js MySQL library for Node.js. Um, specifically, it is the library that if you require MySQL, right? So in, in, um, let me do actually NPM MySQL. So basically, if you, if you just want to use MySQL in Node, this is the library, the, literally the MySQL library is this. It has over a million, almost 1.25 million weekly downloads. Okay, um, so this is the library you would use. And there are other MySQL libraries, but most of them seem to be based off this library. Um, now, I mean, I'm just going to, I'm going to scroll all the way down to the to-do section and maybe you'll spot the issue. Uh, this library's been out more than a decade. This, this is accurate, this, this to-do section. Um, so it's a bit odd that MySQL, a MySQL library would not have prepared statements. Um, it's especially odd because if you go up to, um, where is it? I'm going to have to click through. Goodness me. Okay, I should not have scrolled. Uh, da, 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 da. Escaping query values. Right. Um, hang on a minute. Yeah, this thing. Okay, so this, right, this line. Okay, look at this line. <laughs> this line, to any competent developer who's done any secure coding course, looks like a prepared statement. Um, <laughs> and even if you ignore the format thing, if you go down, like there's another example where, um, yeah, just doing query, right? Have a question mark. Replace it with user ID. Like this, this is, or at least it looks like, a prepared statement. Um, it's not. The MySQL library, Node.js, the default one, for whatever reason, is just not. Um, I don't understand why. And it's been known about since 2014. Like I can show you. I think Ipset did this on his video, so I'm kind of just repeating him. But I think it's worth doing it. Um, so if you search for injection, actually, I know it's worth doing it because what I'm going to show you in a minute, uh, hang on, injection, security issue with parameter escaping. New subscription received. 
Dispense and gratitude. Gratitude dispense. Uh, so Tips almost a decade ago. Uh, thank you, SM, for the uh, the sub subscription. Almost a decade ago, um, some guy called The Cure uh, ran Akinetics, the scanner, against their Node.js app. And Akinetics apparently tried to pass this string in some weird way um, to the, I guess, the login. Maybe it was the username. Um, and then no, no MySQL um, spell out an error, unknown column in where clause, which is never good because you should not be able to control columns in a where clause <laughs> through user input. Um, anyway, blah, 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 a lot of people talking, talking, talking. Uh, this is not an issue. This library is properly escaping all values and column names. Uh, yeah, these are not prepared statements, they're done client-side. So, basically the way it was left was this isn't a bug. This is fine, this is what it's supposed to do. This issue doesn't need any more comments. Um, there are coming changes, <laughs> which will make any kind of shoot yourself in the foot operation Thank you for opt in. Following. Yeah, how did that work out? <laughs> um, anyway... The last comment, I'm going to scroll down a little bit, was like in 2015, and then like somebody mentioned it. Um, so the, the de developers have done absolutely nothing. Um, what's hilarious is this weekend, <laughs> look how many deleted comments there are. Something happened this weekend, I did not see what happened this weekend, but the MySQL JS devs did not like what happened this weekend apparently. Um, they've also locked the thread. Uh, so the reason they did, probably, I imagine, is because of IPsec finding this, or not, not IPsec finding it, I shouldn't say that. Um, a, a guy wrote a blog post, I'm not even going to link to the blog post, but IPsec found the blog post and it was, I guess, part of the way he was supposed to solve the box, unhack the box. Um, anyway, so what is this issue exactly? Well... The guy who wrote the blog post also, um, hang on a minute, I actually have to make sure I'm not going to dox myself. Okay, I'm not good. The guy who wrote the blog post uh, created a vulnerable Node.js app, which we're going to, we're just going to play with for a little bit. Then we'll, we'll get to the actual um, easy content. Although to be honest, this is so easy. It's kind of ridiculous. All right, localhost um, 3000. So, okay, here's how we do it. So, admin test. Okay. So, what I've done, I've slightly modified this. So, the original um, code just, you know, didn't do this. But basically, what I've done here, I have got it to, every time it gets a request, it's going to spit out the uh, the username. It's going to spit out the password. It's also going to spit out the SQL query. Okay. So, you see, if you just submit admin and test, okay, the query is pretty standard. Select all from accounts where username equals admin and password equals test. Easy, easy peasy. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize this so we can actually see the latest stuff. Um, let's send this to repeater. And we'll put it in this mode. There we go. Okay. So like I said, if you send it, we get incorrect username or password. Um, so there's a few ways you can do this. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just actually going to convert this to a JSON object. Because to be honest, most Node apps are going to use JSON objects. Password test. And all we have to do, I can take the cookie out. Actually, you don't need the cookie. And take all that crap out. Take all this crap out. And we will change this to JSON. Okay, so it works the same way. Um, so the problem is this this is using the MySQL library and it's just passing these values direct, directly from the, the body. Uh, actually, let me just get the code for everybody so we can see. So it takes the username from the request body username 
and it takes a password from a request body password. And it puts them into this query as just their regular values, which should be fine. All right, this, this should be okay. Um, the problem is, in Node.js especially, um, even though in HTTP, these are just strings. Everything is strings in HTTP, right? So these are just strings. Um, Thank you for following. In Node.js, if you submit JSON, it's going, to it's going to decode the JSON. And then, yes, this is a string because it's got quotes, but you could submit things that aren't strings, all right? Um, so what you can do is you can take out this password string and you can set password to an object. Now, ordinarily, this doesn't do anything, right? This actually gives an error uh, because we basically give an object and the object is nothing. So the password is equal to, and then there's a, there's a syntax error, basically. Um, however, we can start playing around with this. So objects always have a key. So we do test. Um, actually, let me just do key value. So we're going to do key value. Okay, and now what's happened, you see we have the key value as a JSON object being submitted as the password. Look at the query. The query is weird. So we're selecting all from accounts where username equals admin and password equals key equals value. Now, key has backticks around it. And if you know what backticks mean in MySQL, well, well done. If you don't, backticks are very special in MySQL. They're used for identifiers. Um, if you're in a, a query and you use backticks, generally speaking, they can they will refer to contextually uh, column names. They can refer to tables, databases. It really depends. They can refer to uh, refer to a lot of things. In this context, at the end of a where, um, this key would re be referring to a column in the accounts table called key. Okay. But obviously there is no key uh, column, so it gives an error. The equals value is perfectly reasonable. Um, and the fact is you've got an equals, you've got basically a double equals, which looks weird, but the way I think um, MySQL passes this, and I might be completely incorrect here, what it does is it first checks whether the, the password column is equal to the key column. Okay. And then this becomes either true or false, right? Depending on whether that is a true or false statement. It then compares that true or false to this value. Okay. So how do we get a, how do we mess with this? Well, there's a few ways. So, if we know, if we can make this key, right, equal the password column, then we know that this comparison will be true. So we can put a true here. Yeah. Alternatively, if we know that this is going to be false, we could just put a false here. So why don't we do both? Let's first, what's, what's a column in the table? that's going to be equal to the password column, chat. The password column, exactly. So if we put password here, and then the lovely thing about JSON objects is you can just put true. We're logged in. Um, there we go. So now we have uh, password equals password, which is true. Uh, so does true equals true? Yes, it does. Cool, right? Um, okay, but let's let's say we didn't know the password column. All right? Maybe the password column is named something silly. Let's say there's a username column, which there is here. So we know there's a username column. So if we put username and we change the true to a false... We also log in because password column equal to the username column is generally speaking going to be false unless you're, unless I guess the username and the password are the same and they're not hashing the password, whatever. So this statement, hey, password equals username is false. Um, 
So the equals false becomes basically an and true. Fun, right? Uh, yes, so this is incredibly vulnerable. And let's go back. Would key false? No, it wouldn't. So the problem with key false is, and this is maybe the only saving grace here, is because it is trying to convert it to a column, um, it's basically rejected. It, it, it's, it's causing an error, right? It's causing an SQL error. So the, the only saving grace here is you do need to guess at least one of the column names. So that would work even for encrypted passwords, yes. Because as long as you put, I mean, yeah, encrypted passwords, it works either way. Because, because you're comparing the password column to the password column, that's always going to be true. But if you're comparing the password and it's encrypted or, sorry, hashed, um, you're comparing that to any other column, really, that's always going to be false. Uh, so let's go back to this section. Say that JSON objects, it's basically an SQL injection. Yeah, it is. It's a very basic one. You can't do stuff like union. You can't do like Boolean base blind. It is basically, uh, it's a very basic SQL injection. You can do these sort of, uh, I mean, I guess technically it is a Boolean, but you can't really like ask it questions. You can't embed selects, right? Does SQL map detect it? No. No, SQL map wouldn't detect this. This this is, to be honest, because it's it's a very strange SQL injection. It's really only caused by the fact that the Node.js library is being stupid. It's really a type juggling attack. You are passing uh, an object into um, an, an SQL string, and the Node.js MySQL library is basically saying, oh, that must mean I do this stuff. Which is really stupid. It's really dumb. Anyway, let's say that they disabled because um, uh, your boy y Yakis, uh, unfortunately, um, had another challenge, uh, which didn't didn't allow you to submit JSON objects. So it had this, it used the same Node um, JS MySQL library, uh, which, by the way, wasn't this wasn't the one here that I'm using. So it, it was it was based off of this one. So it wasn't this one, but it was based off of it. Um, but JSON objects were disabled. Um, and so it looked like it wasn't vulnerable, but I played around with it. Um, and it turns out, let's just resubmit this so we get incorrect username and password. Uh, it turns out if you do something like this, password, and then obviously you, you can't unfortunately set uh, true. That's a string. Um, but it's, could anyone guess what I could put there, which is equivalent to true. Thank you for following. One. Boom. <laughs> and we lock in still. And indeed, that is basically, uh, it still passes the string one, but the point is in SQL, one is a true value. So this is still basically, a, hey, is true equal to one? is true equal to true. So there are two ways of exploiting this. Uh, see, in this case, it actually submits the value false or it submits the value true up here. Um, but if you can submit a string, a one or a zero, and again, if we, if we didn't know this password, we could submit username and we change this to a zero and we still get a redirect. Uh, so this is fun. Goodness knows how many applications out there are vulnerable to this. I would imagine quite a lot. So yeah. This is crazy. But anyway, <laughs> I just wanted to share that because this was basically my entire weekend. Uh, it's, it's just a lot of fun. On the screen are my socials. Please follow me on Twitter join the Discord server, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course, follow me on Twitch to get alerted when I go live. You can also find all these links in the video description.